with Farzana Ali at One of Incredible Women platform. Today we are with Taiba Osman. Taiba is a chef and she is that wonderful woman who has been nominated for 100 Women Expert Book of Bahrain. Welcome Taiba to this One of Women platform. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here with you Farzana. Taiba, it's a great honor for us to have you with us today. Since you have achieved a lot, lot you have been nominated as a 100 uh, Bakers of Bahrain. You have been nominated Book of Expat for the Bahrain, Women Expat for the Bahrain. Uh, here, I would like to know your journey from an artist to a chef. Um, it's a beautiful journey, actually, and it was going side by side being a mother. I started as an art teacher in Lahore, then I moved to Bahrain and I explored different flavors, actually. So, baking was always a hobby, a very, very rewarding hobby. And there was a chance to learn more there. So I enrolled myself in a culinary school in Bahrain and I started learning the French uh, delicacies, the French desserts and cakes and everything. And uh, during the journey, I explored another side of me, which was uh, I can do and create some edible art. So I, uh, on recommendation of my chef, I started taking some advanced cake decoration courses. And it's how I started exploring myself as an art teacher, as a baker, as a creative cake artist and during that journey one more strength came as a surprise to me that I can create flowers with almost all the mediums be it chocolate, the beans, the paper I am good at creating uh, you know edible flowers so it's great to have you with us today uh, that the girl who's sitting in front of me who can play with the colors who can you know uh, play with the different tastes I would say and with the flowers too yeah. so here I would like to know your journey uh, being nominated as 100 Bakers of Bahrain. Yeah, it was actually, uh, there was a local Bahraini author writing a book and she was asking around like, I need to know about expat women, those people know who have made a name in a couple of years. So many of my clients recommended me. So it was such an honor that she uh, interviewed me last year in 2020 and the book is expected in mid-2021. And it was lovely to, you know, recognize your all hard work is being acknowledged by locals. So it was beautiful. So that, that's really a great achievement, I would say. And you have not only been nominated for 100 Expat Women of Bahrain, mm -hmm. you would be also nominated for 101 Incredible Women of Pakistan too. Yeah, that, that's, that, you know, actually uh, an overwhelming uh, experience too. Because I just landed here in November and now I'm here. So let's come back to your chef part. So it's a, it's a male dominating uh, uh, industry, I would say. So what is scope for the women in the chef industry? Uh, like uh, I would like to say that women, uh, they enjoy creating recipes. They enjoy spending their time in kitchen. It's not, uh, you know, if you are a chef, you, can, you are not limited to a commercial kitchen. You can write a blog. You can, you know, give classes at your home or in a commercial kitchen. You can start your small catering business as well. So you don't have to, you know, full on go and compete in the male dominating society. You can have your own group of people which you can, you know, train and serve. So I think it's it's an ideal profession for all young women. So you make a delicious cakes, I would say. Yeah. Which is your favorite dish and why? Uh, I like uh, Trislish, the three milk cake, and I like creating, you know, the variations in it. Why? Because it's it's you know very soft and very flavorful and you can add so many flavors into that it's it's a forgiving dessert taiba here i would like to take the all this benefit out of your presence and i would like to ask what qualities do you see in a great chef creativity a great chef should be a great learner he or she must be creative and you know a very observant like a cake create i'm creating for a pakistani community you, you know, you, you are targeting a specific group of people. You should know where you are serving. So if you are in Pakistan, you should, you know, note down all the preferences of the people here. If you are serving Europeans, then you should know what they like. Any so, signature dish of yours? Uh, macarons, hands down. I, I, I can say that I am one of the best macarons chef. In, so you know. sooner we are going to have your macarons dish. Yeah. And obviously you're going to give us a good treat with your new venture. Yeah, and what is that venture about? Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be all about the French delicacies. The, I would start my bakery here with the name Tea Time Treats. It used to be Tea Time Treats Bahrain. Now it's going to be Tea Time Treats Lahore. And you know, I just pray that it, it spreads worldwide. Definitely it's going to be spread worldwide. And the one incredible women are coming to you. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, it's Tea Time Treats Lahore now. 
what type of cuisine do you excel at and why? Uh, I, um, because I'm trained as a French patisserie chef, so I'm excellently, uh, I can make some good macarons, mousses, and all, even the French savouries as well, including the pies and tarts. So I, I feel that I'm good at this. Any toughest decision of your life? Uh, there were two. Leaving my job as a full-time art teacher because I loved teaching student arts. And the second, moving back to Pakistan. Taiba, since you worked in Pakistan and then you worked in Bahrain, you have traveled a lot. Are you, what is your take on gender parity? Uh, I would uh, suggest our parents to, you know, groom themselves more, read Quran first, and just understand what roles Allah Taala has, you know, defined, and then uh, take your decisions accordingly. There should be equal right of education. All the rights mentioned in Quran should be fulfilled, and don't discriminate. If if your girl child is excelling, then give her the chance. If your boy is capable, give him the chance. It even at home, I believe it should be on merit. And also, I would like you to give a message to society too, that if a girl is out from home, they have to accept that, that she's going to work and she is equally equal to the men as well. Men as well. So yeah. give it right and give a chance to her to excel in the society too. Yeah, that's true. I, I would second that, that they should, you know, give wings to their daughters. Don't expect another man who is going to be a husband to give her the opportunity to excel. No, it's your right and your duty to give her the wings to fly before, you know, she leaves your home. And any challenge of your life while working uh, in this chef industry or culinary industry? Yeah, being an Asian in Bahrain and making your name among the natives, the Europeans, those who say that it's their legacy. It was quite challenging to make your mark and competing with those who, you know, who, who are the you know, flag bearers of cakes and macarons and breads. So making your name, it, it was difficult. It's a beautiful thought, I would say. Here I would like to ask, what inspires you in the kitchen? Uh, it's nuts. You know, the nuts inspires me a lot. When they crack or what? When they crack, when they roast, the aroma, when you make the paste, you know, all the flavors come out of nuts for me. So I'm definitely going for a good lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> so a mompreneur is sitting in front of me. How yeah. do you manage your time? Uh, with a clock, I'm very disciplined. I get up early and I take a nap when my kids are at school. Like it's between Zohar to Asr, they come back by Asr and then I'm, I'm the mommy thingy. <laughs> I start midnight and I work till 12 noon. Any message for the women who wants to come into the culinary industry? Learn. Get enrolled yourself in a good one. I would say the best schools possible. Read a lot. Invest in your skills. Your self education will, you know, help you go miles. It's a beautiful conversation, and um, trust me, I'm still dreaming for your, your new venture, which is coming into the market. And we both are enjoying over there. Thank you very much, everyone. It was a great conversation. Thank you so much, Rosanna.